Hey guys, so I am here with a skincare video and a lot of you have been asking about this video because, you know, I was on Accutane and let me tell you, I'm breaking out But again. we just won't get into that because life's life. I'm happy to be alive, so it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna like talk about my acne a little bit and how it came back and uh, we will continue. So first of all, I have been breaking out on my neck behind here and it's really weird they're like huge zits that like turn white and I pop them and they hurt like crazy but thank god I could wear my hair down so you can't see those bad boys but um, I just pop those and they hurt they're like those ones that you pop and then there's still like feels like there's something in there it just hurts so bad. then there is also some problem areas around my hairline some on my forehead and I'm getting some on my cheek I've got like one on my cheek so it's nothing like too drastic I was gonna come on camera without makeup but I did just film a get ready with me video and I was just like you probably don't want to see me in this matter the biggest thing that I have to say is do not eat dairy if you're if you are acne prone do not eat dairy I swear I've been like on a dairy like craze the last few weeks and I know that's why my skin is broken out um, I've been eating ice cream like like a lot of yogurt and just a lot of stuff with dairy in it and I will always stick to almond milk now I'm not drinking anything else and I'm taking a break from like ice cream and stuff just because it has a lot of dairy in it I have been trying really hard to get rid of my acne so I started off with the Michael Todd the charcoal cleanser and that was not working at all it had I felt like my skin was not being cleansed properly so I moved on to what I moved on to oh I went to the body shop and I got the tea tree cool and creamy wash and this is what that looks like and so I used this for about, about like a month to two months and I really obviously haven't like seen a difference but it does feel good after I wash my face with this stuff but I don't think it really does the job for acne. And I also tried the tea tree squeaky clean scrub and I like to exfoliate my skin my entire body plus my face um, at least once or twice a week just to get all the dirt and crap out of there um, so this is what I used for that and I still use this occasionally it just I feel like it was just scrubbing my face too hard and like irritating it so it was getting red and blotchy and like pimples started coming out so I took a break from this and I think I'm gonna do this like every other week and these two products are really really great again if you don't have bad acne I do not have bad acne but I feel it's coming on and plus with hormones and stuff like it's just not the best time for acne right now um, but I highly suggest these two for those of you with not that bad of acne if you just want to wash your face these are really good for you we recently just got a Sephora at our JCPenney here where I live and thank God for that because I've been looking for some facial products and the student store is closed at school and we have like a clinic and stuff so I was gonna pick up the, some of that but of course they're closed or they might not be closed I just don't want to walk over there I'm just too lazy because they got a Sephora they have Murad there they have Clarisonic they have a lot of cool amazing facial products and because they have Murad I used to use Murad and I really like their product it's really gentle but it does the job um, this is another acne cleanser and this is the cream one but the difference between this and the body shop one is that this does have salicylic acid in it it has 0.5 salicylic acid percentage it says delivers time release acne medication that remains active after rinsing this is really good if you are looking to get clear skin and there is um, like a whole line but they didn't have the rest of it so I was kind of sad about that but I did also get a spot treatment and this is um, the clean and clear one I was gonna get the Murad one but I already bought this at Target so I was like I'll go through this and see how it is and then move on to the Murad but this is a clean and clear Persa gel 10 it has 10% benzoyl peroxide acne medication so it's really strong 10% is huge and um, this is a maximum strength I just put this like all over my, like to be honest I put it all over my face at night just so it dries out all the pimples all the blackheads I have been putting this on all of my zits and they've definitely gone down a little bit it's my fault because I keep picking at them that they keep reappearing 
It's gross. Anyway, so I really like this stuff and it's pretty inexpensive. As for the Murad stuff, it's pretty up there. Like the prices are like $39 to $40 for a facial wash, but there is a lot in this container. And they also have the acne body wash as well if you are having body acne. I have a little, a few pimples on my chest, but they're going away from this stuff. So anything that dries out a pimple will eliminate the pimple, basically. You guys know that. Last thing I would love to talk about is moisturizer. So when I was on Accutane, my holy grail moisturizer was Cetaphil. But I feel as though when I was putting it on my face, it was way too overbearing for my face. It was way too thick. And I do have dry skin, but I also have oily skin, so I have a combination skin. And Cetaphil cream is just way too much for me. Sorry if my camera dies. <laughs> anyway, so I was gonna get the Murad moisturizer, but I didn't wanna go out of the line that, that like the blue line, this is called the blue line apparently. Um, I didn't wanna go out of that line because I didn't know like, who will this like mess it up? So. I've been hearing a lot about the first aid um, repair stuff and because this is just a cream I wanted to try it because it's oatmeal based. I just thought it looked really like smooth and light and it's perfect for like daytime. I put Cetaphil on at night just to you know moisten my face for throughout the night but um, I highly suggest this. I've been using this stuff for like three days now and let me tell you I feel really refreshed and very vibrant and I really love it. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. My getting ready with me video will be up before this video. Um, it was after a workout. So you will see that I have a new product that I use in there that I haven't used before. It's the Bare Minerals Translucent Powder. It's the pressed powder. And that has also been helping my skin because it's super light and it's not caking on my face. Plus I use the Naked Urban Decay Foundation um, which is very light as well. It's not too heavy so it doesn't clog my pores. And... So yeah, I'm, I'm going a little more easy on my skin, eating better, um, that's all I could say for now. So if you guys want another update video about my skin in a few weeks, please thumbs up this video and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!